Welcome to The Ferris Show on television. First tonight, heading into a trap and on their own. That's on point. Israel rightfully wants vengeance and justice and safety and to get their hostages back. But they can't quite figure out how to get those things. And increasingly, America appears unwilling to tighten the thumbscrews on Hamas's bosses in Iran. New pictures show Israeli tanks ready for a ground invasion of Gaza that should have started a few days ago. But if you look closely, only a few of the Merkava tanks have what are called cope cages. That's the wire mesh on top to protect against drone strikes on the turret. These are new. That's the weakest part of the tank. It's something Israel never thought of until this video came out from Hamas's attack last Saturday of them using drones to drop ordnance straight down on tanks. It's the latest indication that Israeli commanders have to rethink their entire battle plan for Gaza on the fly. Hamas gunmen set up blockades over the weekend to stop civilians from leaving Gaza City. And Hamas isn't just 30,000 fighters, it's a movement. Gazans elected them back in 2007. We hear over and over about 2 million-plus Gazan civilians, and it's true, many are civilians. But many, if not most of them, support Hamas. Recent poll says 57 percent do, so well over a million of them support Hamas. The New York Times describes Hamas as, quote, a large social movement, as well as a militia that is deeply embedded within Gazan society. That's true. This is an ISIS with 5,000 radicals who want to go back to the 8th century with Mad Max-style pickups. This is a large organization with hundreds of thousands of supporters concentrated in Gaza, plus a large military structure and organization and bureaucracy. Not to mention help from the Kuwaitis, Qataris, Turks, and Iran. Killing their leadership solves the problem of justice and vengeance, but it doesn't come close to achieving the Israelis' goals of eliminating Hamas. Short of bombing Gaza back to the Stone Age and killing everyone, eliminating Hamas is like trying to eliminate cockroaches. It is possible, but it is difficult and a very messy business. And already, sadly, as we predicted, the world is crying about civilian suffering, not Israeli suffering, but Gazan civilian suffering. That is undeniably true. You could fairly describe Gaza as one of the worst places on Earth before last Saturday. And it's only getting worse there. This is Hamas's responsibility. Egypt could offer safe passage to the civilians. They won't. Instead of flooding into Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, the displaced Gazans say could fly to Iran or Turkey or Qatar or Kuwait. After all, Iran and Turkey fund Hamas, as does Kuwait. Qatar gives their leaders a safe haven. It's not that far of a flight. I'm sure somebody could pay for the airplanes. Emirates, for example, has a lot of airplanes. So is Qatar Airlines. But that won't ever happen. And the BBC will give them a pass as they keep Gazan civilians inside Gaza. So now Israel is stuck with vulnerable tanks attacking an entrenched enemy with years to prepare an enemy with technology Israel never anticipated. Israeli military leaders now have new orders as well. Originally, they had planned to damage Hamas. That was always the plan. Now they must destroy them. Even if you take over Gaza, things get worse. Israeli occupied Gaza once, way back in the day. It was a disaster. Israel had to withdraw. Hamas then took over. So Israel now faces, 10 days after the attack, they face a delayed ground invasion and many bad options. The only way to truly curtail Hamas is to cut off their funding, weapons, and support. That has nothing to do with invading Gaza. It has everything to do with Iran and Qatar. Israel really can't do that. In the past few hours, the Pentagon put a few thousand combat troops on standby to go to Israel, but America has done virtually nothing to address the root cause of the problem, Iran and Qatar leaving our ally Israel effectively on its own and heading into a trap. That's on point tonight. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.